Welcome back to Totally Clutch, the Clutch Businesses podcast and vlog. I'm Angie Beeman with Clutch Businesses, and the holidays are absolutely upon us. So today we're going to be talking with Bradley Joseph of Havon Concierge, and we're going to be talking about strategies to really thrive throughout this holiday season. And before we do that, I want to just gauge your temperature, and you can put it in the chats or the comments, wherever you're watching from. But do the holidays make you feel excited and joyful? Or is all of that kind of overshadowed by all of the time and money and energy that you have to invest in just getting one glimmer of hope or one glimmer of joy, not hope. But um, so with that, again, type it into the chat. Keep that in mind. We'll keep it in mind as we talk. And I want to welcome then to the show Bradley Joseph of Hawthorne Concierge. Hey, hey. Hey, Angie, thanks for having us. Yeah, how you doing? Really cool. Good, really excited to be here. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm really glad that you're here. Do you want to give us uh, a bit about your background and, and what you do before we get started? Yeah, absolutely. So I um, and I'm an, an entrepreneur, there I said that correctly, and uh, I started up my own marketing and PR and branding firm about 11 years ago. And then this has always been sort of a secret passion of mine to work um, and launch a private concierge company. So um, during the pandemic, when we had a lot of downtime, my creative juices, juices got flowing and was able to launch this, this effort. It's been really successful so far. That's awesome. Congrats. And it's right. a perfect time to start a business, right? Because of all those creative juices. You know, I always tell young entrepreneurs, because I'm not young anymore, you know, <laughs> I started this marketing firm in the worst economic downturn in the last hundred years. When the right after the 08 fallout, I started it in March of 09. And the thing is, you're already at the bottom. Everybody wants to help you. Nobody says no. They all say what you're going to do. So um, ironically, a pandemic's a really good time to get stuff started because you've only got yeah. one way to go up. Ah, there totally. is no room for failure, you know? Totally. Yeah, so I always awesome. tell people, like, do it now. You won't have any regrets. So. Yeah, good. Good. Yeah. Way to seize the day. Thanks. Um, yeah. Okay, so you're probably already helping then or working with people to get ready for Thanksgiving. And I guess what's coloring this whole conversation today is the fact that this holiday season is going to look wildly different from any holiday season prior, right? Because we're in the middle of a pandemic. It's in Colorado, at least, or in Denver, we're not even supposed to get together with more than five people. So, um, you know, it'll, it'll be very different. But I guess with that in mind, I'm wondering, what are you seeing? What are people doing differently this year as they're starting to plan than they did prior years? Well, I think the biggest thing is because everyone is working from home, they've got doubled up or tripled responsibilities with learning at home pods with students and family members. Um, both spouses are working from home. So there's not a lot of opportunity to get out and do stuff. And so that's where we come in is we can provide sort of adjunct support to running errands, holiday stuff, all that kind of stuff that you don't have to because you're in lockdown with mm -hmm running your household. And so we add capacity to households. We also add capacity to um, corporate office environments where people don't feel comfortable going out. We can provide, you know, safe curb service, drop off, whatever your needs are. So um, we're just that extra set of arms that can help bring support. Yeah, that's great. And this is not necessarily related, but I would imagine that this is going to start to come up for people that we actually had a friend that was trying to engage or trying to propose to his girlfriend. And because they're, so they're living together and they're in lockdown together. And so he couldn't even find time to get away to shop for the ring without her, you know, asking all of these questions and things. And so I imagine that the same type of thing is going to start to come up with people, you know, buying gifts and even having gifts delivered to their homes, trying to keep that secret from everybody so that it really is a surprise underneath the Christmas tree instead of, you know, everybody already knows what's happening. So that's great that you can provide that support for them. No, absolutely. And it'll either be me or some of our elves that'll be running around the city taking yeah. these tasks on. So that's we enjoy awesome. doing it. We know where all the secret hiding places are and um, we can work really efficiently. That's so great. 
Yay. Okay. So for anybody that's tuning in, we've got basically what we wanted to do today is to talk about all of the all of the things that most people find themselves doing throughout the holiday season. So shopping for gifts, decorating the house, all of those kind of things. And we'll talk through ways to make it easier, all of those things. And uh, you can follow along. We've actually got a checklist that you can download at clutchbusinesses.com backslash holiday thrive. And so you can follow along with that, print it out and take notes as we talk. And then the one other caveat that I wanna say is that the idea in making all of this easier is not to just like eliminate the holiday season from your life for the next two months, but to make room for the things that you find or that you hold really sacred about this season. So like for me, I love to wrap gifts. I love to cook something amazing on Christmas morning. And I've got friends that like live for making cookies or live for, you know, dressing and writing out all of their holiday cards. And so, you know, we're not necessarily, well, we are not suggesting that you, that you don't do those things, but what we're trying to do is to make space for you to really, really enjoy those things so that you don't have all of this other chatter in the background kind of overshadowing those things that bring you, you know, absolute joy. So with that, you know, hold on to, you know, just think about the things that you hold sacred and hold on to that as we start to talk through all of these things. But I guess with that, let's dive into the list. So um, I guess, Bradley, should we start with decorating the house? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do yeah. it. Okay. So we've got the, you've got the inside of the house. So the tree, the stockings, all of that kind of stuff. And then you've got lights and wreaths and uh, floral arrangements outside. What is, how, how can people make this easier for themselves? Because that can be really exhausting and time consuming to get all no, of That's that. a great question. I think one of the trends we're seeing is because people aren't traveling as much and they have a little bit more budget that's going to be applied to home. Just we've seen a lot of DIY home improvements and remodel projects. I think the holidays are also going to be the same. So people are transforming their front porch or their backyard into more of a holiday themed environment. And so they're okay. taking a, just one more extra step just to say, hey, look, we've got the time, we've got the space, let's trick out the patio, let's trick out the back patio. Nice. And we can add capacity with add a, a lot of people that, um, I live downtown, they're also doing stuff on their you know loft porches and their balconies and they're trimming wow. out their seasonal planters with seasonal plantings. And that's something that people normally haven't had time to do or haven't put effort into, but it can really make an impactful entryway um, in terms of the, what they're looking for. So right. again, we're here to help. We can come suggestions. We can put up a budget and it may be as simple as running down to Home Depot and getting some live garland, or it could be a much more elaborate setup. But, um, you know, in these challenging times, keep it simple. It doesn't have to be elaborate. You know, work on stuff that's easy to manage that you just want. I want a pop of color here, an impact over here and whatever there, and then call it a day. So yeah. nobody's going over the top. Well, some people are, but just... <laughs> When budgets are tight and there's so much uncertainty, I don't think people are being asked to go over the top, mm -hmm. but just to do something a little extra. Yeah, that's great. And I actually saw, you know, when I was looking around for some things, this is probably more um, more helpful and more common in higher density cities like New York, where storage is is an absolute issue. So people, you know, barely have a place to sleep or you know enough space to sleep. So um, storing holiday decorations isn't really an option for them. And so I actually found a couple of places where you can rent all of your holiday decorations so that you don't have to store them. You know, you're, you're paying less than you would if you were to buy them on your own. And, you know, I imagine that you do something like this too, or, or you know, can coordinate something like this too, where, okay, so you're renting the, the decorations, but then you've got little elves that come into the house and and put it all up and you know trim the tree and put up the wreath and even install the lights outside that those types of things absolutely no you're spot on about all that stuff and we're also really good experts at storage because that's another facet of our business is um garage and closet organization and so we are masters at um helping organize purge strategize what's working what's not working we can come in and make an assessment on um, making sure that you're only storing away usable items because everyone's Christmas box all looks the same. It's this garbled mess. And um, let's work on getting and find out what works and what doesn't work. 
Yeah, that's great. I know I, um, I have in my mind like five different sets of lights that we've got piled away that don't even work, but some for some reason we're still holding on to them. So that's awesome. Um, yeah. Okay, what about gifts? So we've got gifts for the immediate family, gifts for extended family, hostess gifts, things like that. Well, I guess our hostess gifts and um, extended family even even something on people's radar this year if they're not getting together with as many people as they usually are? You know, I think so, absolutely. We live in a world now where we really have sort of mastered shipping and um, packaging and all that kind of stuff and we can help facilitate those deliveries. In some instances, if you're local and you need that local support, we can provide that um, boots on the ground to get stuff delivered right to your doorstep. But um, we're really good at organizing. Um, if you have a corporation that has 300 gifts and you want to do three different items for all of the different members, we can help populate and get that organized. Like I said, if it's something smaller and more personalized, we've got boots on the ground in the Denver metro area, we can get something under their doorstep. Awesome. And then what about picking out gifts for people? Is that something that, that you could help with or any suggestions that you have for people about, you know, finding Absolutely. a gift? Absolutely. We work with a different, a number of different companies in the corporate realm that have, um, links that we can send you and you can shop and they can be personalized gift items that may be a leather attache or a leather portfolio of some sort and it may need to be monogrammed um we can give you different options based on whatever your price point is and help facilitate that okay um personal items a little bit more challenging we generally like to have an idea of what you're looking for and we can do a live facetime in a store say, hey look this is what this item looks like this is the price range you're looking for if it's something more personal and more intimate, that's something we can do too and work remotely. Okay, that's great. Yeah, and there's I've noticed that there are a lot more stores that are doing like live shopping events. So mm -hmm. that might be something that's really um, helpful, you know, if you're working with, you know, with Hawthorne Concierge or, uh, or you know, in some other capacity that, you, you know, you could jump on a live shopping event and just kind of pick pick your stuff and, um, and figure out how to get it later. But, um, Okay, and then is there anything, so one of the things that I know that I struggle with often or from year to year is remembering what I got people and the prior year so that I'm not buying the same exact thing or um, yeah, making sure that I'm not buying even the same kind of theme of things. Like I don't buy a different scarf every year for the same person. Are there um, any tools or any things that you provide to people or recommend people use to keep track of all of that stuff? No, absolutely. We really good. And we can set up just a simple spreadsheet on who, what, when, where, size, color, and what was sent from years past. And so the addresses get updated obviously throughout the year and phone numbers. Um, that's certainly what we can help do is, is work the management of that. That's easily done. Um, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, and I guess that's the benefit then of working working with you know a concierge service or working directly with Hawthorne Concierge, where you guys are have all of those records, right? And it only it only makes you better at doing that when um, you know the when there's some consistency, I guess, in in the the work that you're doing with somebody. Absolutely, and a lot of the other things that people are working on too is experiences, and so. There are some safe um, distancing events. I think the Denver Zoo and the Denver Botanic Gardens are working on um, outdoor events with um, safe social distancing. And so, you know, if you need a car service and you want hot chocolate there on the thing when the family arrives um, with time tickets and stuff like that, that'll happen. Um, again, this is all being closely monitored because the it's changing ever daily about with our health situation. Um, that's something we can arrange for you too. So it's it's really going above and beyond and really making it personal and special. Yeah, so that's, that's great. Cookie cutter. Yeah, the experience. I love that idea. That's such a great idea. I was for some reason just so stuck on physical, physical gifts, but the experience is so meaningful and and such a great thing to give to somebody. Right, lining up a photographer as you were strolling through the Denver Gardens, blossoms of light, and yeah. you've got some photo ops going, and so. Um, we can make it magical. Two, I, that's so great. Okay, I have to ask too. What about what would um, what would it look like if, for you to get involved in uh, gift assembly and gift wrapping? So I know I've my cousin has two two sweet little kids, and I remember a couple of years ago at like two o'clock in the morning after everybody was done with dinner, the kids are in bed, everybody's had a few you know too many cocktails, 
and all of a sudden you realize, oh my gosh, we have to put together that bike or, you know, what the, the karaoke set or whatever it is. And, you know, there's, it's just not easy at that point. Yeah, no, that's a great question. We have magic elves that on our team that can help facilitate that. Okay. I'm particularly not good at doing stuff like that, but yeah. my team that can assemble. I have one whole guy that's all he does is make assemble Ikea furniture. You know, oh, nice. And office furniture and all that kind of stuff. And he loves okay. it. He comes up and shows it. And that's it awesome. Down. Okay, good. Great. One other thing I wanted to talk about beyond the holidays. Am I getting ahead of myself? No, please. Um, at, beyond the holidays, we offer memberships. And memberships can be customized however, whenever you need. So say, for example, you have an aging parent that has reoccurring tasks that need to happen every month. And so maybe it's yard duties, lawn duties, um, trash pickup, just anybody coming in and checking out that something we can do is set up a retainer or what we call a monthly membership. And those can be, they're just based on however many hours you need once or twice a month to go in and, and um, take care of these reoccurring tasks. It can also happen at a corporate level where we have clients that, um, you know, not in this season that own suites at sporting events. They need somebody to go in and set up and deliver items. Um, Whatever it may be, if you're flying private and you need to have a small reception at your airplane hangar and you want to have a, a birthday send off or a, a weekend getaway for the family, something like that, we can help customize a small event for that as well, too. Yeah, that's awesome. It's so, And I, I do think that that is so important to um, for people to know because it isn't just, I think the holidays have a, a special focus on them because it's a concentrated amount of time. There's so much that has to be done during that period. And so, you know, we're always trying to figure out ways to make it um, go more smoothly. And that, but I think that that is also something that we should all be carrying with us throughout the rest of the year, right? I mean, life just doesn't have to be as complicated or everything doesn't have to be on our shoulders, I guess. We've got We've got really skilled people that actually could probably do it better. I, I bet that you would do it a lot of those things better than than we would if we were doing it on our own, right? Absolutely. You get to go home and just like, oh, yeah, awesome. <laughs> absolutely. That's and and really enjoy the event or whatever it is that you're that you're doing. You really get to like lean into enjoy it. Enjoy the holidays. Yeah, yeah, that's so great. Okay, cool. And then what about, uh, okay, so this is something that I thought of. I've never done this before, but I think because these meal service uh, things are so popular now, but I think during the holidays, and again, this is probably less so this year, but you know, oftentimes you find that you're, you're going out every night, you've got you know, a, a gathering here, a gathering there, you've got your work party, whatever it is. And so you're kind of in and out of the house a lot quicker than you normally would or just don't have any time. So finding a, a good meal can be a bit challenging or having the energy to cook for yourself um, even when you do have a, a rare night to yourself. So do you think it would be beneficial or people would, I guess, benefit from like doing a two week HelloFresh membership or something during this time just so that they've got that stuff in the freezer or they've got it in the fridge and you know when when they've got a minute or you know when they need to cook a meal they can just pop it on the oven or on the stove and go i think that's a great idea and that works really well for a lot of people that are single and that are on the go for people that have sort of medium or larger size families what we can even do is bring in a, a one-off event where we can bring in one of our private chefs mm -hmm. and you can actually consult with them and tell them what you're looking for and the types of meals you need monday through friday they can even customize something um and we can drop it off so it's totally completely safe so you they're not preparing the meal inside your home during okay. these challenging times so um private chef meal and preparation is really big right now that's great absolutely okay okay awesome yeah i think that would be again you know maybe less so this year but that is just something that i'm like oh my gosh if i would have thought about that a couple of years it would have just made such a huge difference but yeah i was a, a caterer in my former life so i know yeah. all about holiday deliveries and drop-offs and room temperature platters and stuff like that <laughs> for family. So we are very familiar. Yeah, good. Okay, great. Okay, so what about, uh, let's see, family photos or holiday cards, kind of getting all of that stuff. So a lot of people, you have to have the photos to do the cards, then you have to have the cards and all the addresses and things like that. How can we make that easier? 
Absolutely. I mean, one of the trends that we saw at the beginning of the pandemic was people had photographers come over and they would do porch portraits with family members. And so that's a trend that's still hanging around. And um, we've got local photographers that can be on demand and do a, a photo shoot for you. The beauty of the internet now is you can order all of your Christmas cards online. Um, I work with a company called Paper Culture, where you actually can populate your spreadsheet of all your holiday addresses and they'll merge it and print it onto your um, Christmas cards that you pick out. Oh, that's awesome. And the things are so much different this year as well too. They're obviously responsive and understanding that this year is different mm -hmm. and um, people's sentiment is different and people are anxious to get 2020 past them. And so yeah. a lot of the, there's a lot of humor involved and there's a lot of sentiment that certainly touches on um, current events. Okay, that's great. That's really great. I actually found, I don't know if you've ever heard of it. I'm just looking to make sure that I say it right, but. I found postable.com. They actually, so I think it's a similar service to what you were talking about where, you know, it'll uh, populate the addresses, mail them out for you. But they also have a part of their services that the, the note that is like, a, obviously you're not handwriting it, but it's written in handwriting. So it looks like you've written it yourself, but really it's just, you know, a printer that prints it out and sends it for you. So I love that. Really Maybe in your comments after the show, you can post that because I'd, yeah, I'd love to have yeah, it. I will. The viewers like to see it as well, too. That's great. Cool. Yeah. I thought it was really cool. And it seemed, I mean, the pricing seemed reasonable and things like that. So that's always important. But um, yeah. Okay. So then I guess next on the list, what about like baking cookies or any of the, any of the holiday oriented cooking? What Again, I think that that's great. I, that's a great thing to bring up, Angie. I think a lot of people realize that um, because this year is so different, keeping it really personal is important. And so having homemade cookies dropped off in a personal tin is something that people re are responsive to, mm -hmm. especially if they're homemade and if it's from a local baker, it's great because everything can be bought over the internet and delivered. But once it gets personalized with a, a local baker or some added benefit, I think that that brings value to the gift giving season. Yeah. Yeah. I know for me, I was thinking, you know, you, I, I feel like a lot of people have like the holiday gatherings that they go to every year, you know, like Susie down the street always has, you know, a, a Wednesday night happy hour the weekend or the week before Christmas or something like that. So you have kind of these, these set events that probably are not going to happen this year or will happen in a very different way. And so those are, those are places where, you know, I'd normally have a host gift ready to, to bring with me. But, you know, this year I was thinking, well, maybe doing maybe doing cookies and dropping them off to all of those people that usually host or the people that that I usually host as a gift would be kind of cool. So, um, you know, just just to still have that connection, even though you're not physically able to get together. That's great, Angie. That's true. It's that's on theme with what we talked about earlier. Keep it personal. Yeah. Yeah. Great. OK. And then let's see. What am I forgetting? I'm just looking at my list right now. Uh, oh, I guess, I mean, we should probably talk about the holiday meal itself. So you know, either, I guess, Thanksgiving dinner is kind of, I mean, that's like next week or the week after, but um, holiday, like the actual either Christmas Eve dinner or Christmas Day dinner, anything that, I mean, is that another place where private chefs could could be a play or is there something else that... No, absolutely. And we're telling everybody this year, because everything is so different, plan ahead. Don't make it a last minute rush. Whether you're preparing your own meal and going to the grocery store, start your shopping now. Um, people are sort of in a panic mode, like they were kind of during the pandemic and there's already bathroom tissue that's being hoarded. So I wouldn't want you to get in a situation where if you're baking your own meal, that some of your favorite baking goods are, are might be out of stock. Um, what I've been getting a lot of messaging on is a lot of the local caterers are providing meals, two, four, six, up to a dozen people, mm -hmm. drop off delivery, they're timed to deliveries. And so that's really important. I think, um, because we've been home so much, we've been cooking home so much, it might be nice to have sort of a, a delivered meal yeah. and it's, is it outside of the norm of what you're doing? But absolutely. But people really want to relax on Thanksgiving. And so this is a great way to treat yourself order in, get a gourmet meal from your local favorite restaurant or your local caterer and take all the stress off the day. We're already home. We're already cooking seven meals a week. So maybe take the night off. But yeah, and not to that. mention that cooking a holiday meal is way different than cooking, you know, a dinner on a Tuesday or a Thursday night, right? I mean, it's 
it is like a, a choreographed dance in the kitchen when that all has to happen. And even if you're cooking for, a, you know, a smaller number of people, like it's still an intense affair. And, and a lot of people, like I've never cooked, I've never cooked a turkey before, right? That's a big undertaking. If you're, if you're flying solo, you know, it's so, we'll, yeah. We'll do a live webcam and I'll walk you through it, Angie. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. Um, okay, what else, anything else that we that we haven't talked about that's kind of a big... No, like we said, let's just recap. You know, holiday decor, people doing ex a little bit of different things. They're tricking out their patios and their porches like they've never done before. Mm -hmm. Keep it simple. Um, those seasonal planners that were often for summer plannings are opportunities for you to do something seasonal as well. So that's something to think about. A great way to add value and environment to your yard and your holiday decor. Um, holiday meal planning, plan ahead, whether you're doing it yourself or you're gonna capitalize on your favorite restaurant or your local caterer. Um, don't be last minute. Yeah. And um, we're here to help. We can customize yeah. any plan. There's no project that's too small or too big. And um, we're excited to be out there. That's awesome. Yeah, phone a friend. There's no shame in that game this year. Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks so much, Bradley. So uh, again, the other thing that we want to recap is how people can find you. So if you're interested in working with Bradley, you can visit hawthorneconcierge.com and reach out with any questions um, and figure out how, how to make life a little bit easier for yourself. And then again, if you are interested in the checklist, it's um, of you know all the things that we kind of talked through today. You can visit clutchbusinesses.com backslash holiday thrive. And yeah, thanks so much, Bradley, for being here. And thanks everybody for, for tuning in. I think this was really great, really helpful. I know I got a lot of good ideas. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Angie. This is really yeah. great. I'm sure we'll be in touch. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. To have a successful business, it often feels like you have to sacrifice having a killer life. And most of the things that you spend your time doing throughout the day have nothing to do with why you started a business in the first place. I'm Angie Veeman with Clutch Businesses. I work with passionate female entrepreneurs who are solving amazing problems in the world. I take them out of their operational abyss into a place where they have more free time and greater fulfillment in their lives.